All right, so I'm posting this video. I had a few questions in person and one on Instagram from M29Martin about how I uh, routed this coax cable to work on my fourth gen 4Runner. Uh, to start off, I did get a diamond uh, K400 mount. I can't recommend this enough. It's, it's, it was highly recommended to me and it's worked out great. Uh, but to make this whole system marry up, we can't just stop there. We have uh, 18 foot uh, coax cable, uh, a heavy duty mount that goes through the, the uh, sorry, a stud mount that goes through this mount, and then a heavy duty spring, and then I also got a four foot fire stick, which has worked out very good for me. Uh, to start out, uh, hooked up the um, coax cable to the uh, stud mount. Uh, this kind of naturally just kind of dips in behind the, um, the diamond mount here uh, and to open this up let's look in here and just a little a pro tip here uh, be really cognizant where you put your antenna on this application because if you have a awning like I do on this side it will interfere and it will hit it as it tries to open so uh, be really cognizant of that as you're putting that on but to kind of continue on I bought these little clips right here that's half opened on one side on this side and then the uh, 3M tape on the back and the coax cable actually just goes through that and I have three of those here one two and three which has worked very well and then I have this routed I have two um, uh, quick ties zip ties on both sides of this little mount here and this is just the the cord that goes up to the rear brake light. Now one thing that happened here that I wasn't real happy about, but I kind of destroyed this grommet trying to get this cord to go in there. I had to kind of go buy some silicone and backfill all this to keep water, stuff like that. It's worked fine. Uh, however, uh, the grommet is, once it's destroyed, it's destroyed. So be careful with it. And if you do destroy it, just use some clear uh, um, silicone uh, to, to put it all up. So I, I went into the roof line, you can pull this down. I have mine kind of semi off right now, but be careful with this because once you crease it, it's, it's, it's creased. So I uh, got the, you can see the cord back there and it was brought down this pillar right here. Uh, to take this pillar, uh, bring it back, there was a few screws. There's some Instagram videos online on how to take these rear panels off. So don't, I can't cover it all here, but uh, taking all these panels off, continued down. Uh, to get this panel off, it's kind, of a, it's kind of a mess. So I had to take this whole panel off right here. And then uh, with all these screws and there's some clips in there, had to take this little big guy off here and there's some more screws down in here to underneath these panels. You don't have to take all this off. You also have to take these little guys off right here. You can see I broke one. I need to get a new one there. And then there's another one there. Uh, you got to bring this out a little bit. Tuck your cord back there. There's no mounting solutions needed. It just needs to be routed. Uh, to continue on, uh, it comes down this side right here and it comes down into this floor right here uh, this comes off just by prying it's just held in by clips and then continued on to the front now into the front door it was just brought this far right here and as you can see I've had many accessories hooked up here and then I actually have the head unit to my Cobra 75 underneath the seat and then the uh, cord actually comes up beside the seat and I got it ram mounted into the ashtray right here which this comes off and obviously back on and it works very well um, now the, the other cords that go into to the engine I just continued onto this railing right here into the battery up through the firewall and out into the front to the battery uh, I hope that answers your question if you have any more questions please let me know and I'll try to cover as best I can thank you very much